right, a couple tips about uh, the Dixie Land the Light solo. So um, I think you're talking about the because that's kind of like the Orange Blossom special thing. But one thing to think about when you're doing these type of like uh, alternate bowing techniques is that it's really just a grid. So if you look at your hand, your right hand, it's really just going inconsistent, I think this is 16th notes. So how I like to do this is I like to start off with just the grid. Make sure I've got that really consistent. And then I like to start just by adding accents in place of where the notes would normally be accented. So right. So you kind of get this down, um, Once you get that under your hand, then it's a lot easier to start adding the string crossings when you're doing those accents. Right? So that is the simple way to break it down. Um, also another little tip for the beginning of the, uh, of the solo, That's the normal bowing. Right? Da, 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 da. I like to do that a little bit different. I like to do it with just a down bow accent, like a soft up bow, down bow accent. walking up thirds. So you can do that either way, but I just find that it's uh, really fun and a lot more easy uh, to do for me uh, doing those down bow accents than the constant shuffle bowing. I can go a little bit faster with the down bow accents than I can with the shuffle bowing without my hand feeling like it's getting a little tense. Um, but I've done both uh, some people want you to do it exactly how the record is, and if you're going to do that, then you need to do the correct way. But if you're just having fun on Broadway, you're doing your own thing, uh, I recommend trying to, trying that out, seeing if that works for you. Uh, I, to me, it accents the clapping and everything that the audience is doing a little bit better than the uh, shuffle bow. Um, but that's how I would break it down. Hopefully that helps.